What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to the very first episode of our Pokemon Sword version? Yeah? Oh, yeah. I was about to say Sun. But yes, guys, what's up? We're in 2022, and here we are back in the Gala region. Now, before we continue right here, I would like to explain a few things about this walkthrough. Yes, I know, Draven, you're in over your head. You've already played this game before. True, 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 true. But if you guys already know something about me, that is that good old Draven likes to be a perfectionist. And that was the thing right here is that, you know, um, even though I played Pokemon Sword and Shield and I got both things included into the into the walkthrough that I made, I still felt like I rushed it and I really, really felt like it was just, uh, <laughs> it was not up to par. And I do apologize for many of you guys and all that stuff. Now. Now that we're here in the studio, and now that we're doing this, and uh, we actually edit these things out professionally and all that crud, I might as well take advantage of uh, what we're doing right here. Yes, we got three games going. We have a nice schedule, and hopefully we get all the views that, you know, we can. But yes, guys, before Pokemon Scarlet and Violet come out, I want to actually come out with this game, redo it, play everything. Like, the whole game in its entirety, from... Uh, the Isle of Armor, the Crown Tundra, yes, everything is going to be included right here. No doing Pokemon Shield as well. We're going to do just one walkthrough right here, and we're going to do it right, because look at this background. That's right, guys. Draven's back with backgrounds, and yes, look at that. We got badges. We got everything. And, uh, well, the one thing that we don't have is a Pokemon team right here, because, well, we're going to be alternating the team quite a bit and all that stuff so anywho let's just go ahead and talk hop right here hello hello and look at that our frenemy our worst person in the world the guy that we hate the most the guy who thinks he's a super saiyan hop is like oh that your flash new phone Draven? were you watching lee's exhibition match on it but you can't cheer him on with your hands full you know the only way to properly cheer on lee would be with his famous charizard pose which would be, what do you mean? And, well, look at that. Mama's right there. She's like, Hop, didn't expect to see you here today, dear. Isn't this a big day? Yeah, that's exactly why I came running over to Draven. Never mind, never mind watching the match now. I've got to, uh, I got a recording at home anyways. I'll record all my brother's matches. Come on, Draven. Or come with me, Draven. We should, uh, he should be here any minute. And Lee always brings present when, uh, presents when he, he uh, when he visits, so I wouldn't forget that bag if I were you. Now I've got to run. See you at mine later. Okay, we're gonna go see him later, I guess. I don't know. And uh, well, would you look at that, guys? Now, few improvements on this walkthrough background, but yes, we are doing. Uh, we're actually recording this on our Elgato. What was it again? H60. S plus yes uh, capture card so there won't be no skipping on the vocals and, and everything and yes it's gonna be edited to the important parts of this game do not worry guys Draven's got you covered let's go right ahead and uh, take care of this old thing right here now where's mama there's my mama and uh, well let's see rushing off to the state Draven didn't Hop say you should bring your bag last I saw it was in your room and don't forget to grab your hat for the weather okay let's go uh, grab that bag look at this in my hat and, uh, well, would you look at that? <clears throat> that is the ass of America, or England, or Giller, whatever it is. And, yes, look at that. My swoosh is perfect. I am ready to go. And, well, there's the adventure guide. I do not need to do any of that stuff. But, yes, we are finally on our way back out to Giller. And look at this. It looks beautiful. Perfect. Everything. And, uh, yeah, the graphics... Yeah, you, you just can't beat it right here. Okay. Okay. I don't really know what to talk about, guys. I'm just excited to do this game all over again. I've played this game quite a few times, and uh, it just never gets old right here, guys. And, uh, well, here we here we are talking with Hop, and he's like, <laughs> have you, uh, have a look uh, at you, Draven. That old bag looks like it could pull you over. At least we know that it would be it would hold anything Lee might bring uh, uh, might bring, even if it's a big as uh, big as a Snorlax. Okay, and well, we got this Pokemon rolling over, Rolly Pulley. Ah, Wooly or a Wooloo. But what's it doing here? It's trying to open that gate. I think I do not know. Wow, it's not that strong. Hey, you silly Wooloo! I see what you're up to. 
don't go using tackle on the on the fencing. Now listen, no going past the fence. No, everyone knows that there are scary Pokemon living in the slumbering wheel. Man, okay, doesn't even know, but it's rolling up, and uh, well, Hop's like, now that that's taken care of, how about it, Draven? Let's race. Bet I can make it to my house first. What with uh, what with you lugging uh, about uh, that big old bag? Okay, that sounds like a challenge, but I don't know. Your bag seems to be the same. I don't know. This this bag seems to be a little uh, old school and stuff. I kind of like the old school and whatnot. But here we are, guys, in the Galar region. Beautiful HD and all that stuff. Now, the first thing we have to do is we actually have to go into Hal Hop's house and uh, bring him out because, well, I think that's the, pretty much the thing right here. So here we are in Hop's house. There's Hop's mama. And, uh, well, let's see what she has to say. Mom, is he here? There you are at last, Hop. Oh, and uh, you've brought along Draven. Hello there. Yeah, yeah. But where's Lee? Have you got him to cram in a, in a cupboard? He's still not here yet. For the hundredth time, honestly, Hop, you must be. You must learn some patience. He's probably the only one just arrived at the station at Wedgehurst. Then that's where I'm going. You know, Hop, or you know, Lee is hopeless with directions. I'll make sure he doesn't get lost on the way. Oh, will you? Yes, that probably is for the best. You've got to come, Draven. You've st uh, still never met my big bro, right? You can't miss uh, you can't miss out on your chance to meet the undefeated champion. I'll wait for you out on the route or route, right? Whatever you guys like to call it. Okay, so uh, let's see. Yeah, we have to go meet with him, and uh, well, this is his house. I'm just gonna take a look at a few things right here, cause uh, let's see. You talk to her. Yeah, she won't be doing anything. She's just tidying up everything. But look at this. This is probably Hop's room. Yeah, he has a lot of hats. That's a lot of hats. That really is a lot of hats, and. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, he has a crunch, uh, crunch machine right there. Now, this looks like Lee's room because look at that. You got a poster. There's Lee's poster, and I, I guess he's the champion and all that stuff. So, let's get the heck out of here. Let's go find Hop, and uh, let's go ahead and uh, try and do uh, do some things right here. So, here we are coming out of Hop's house, and uh, where the heck is he? Oh, yes, he's waiting up there right up front, and he's going to be like, let's get a move on. Only remember, Draven. Well, Pokemon can come out of nowhere if you walk through the patches of grass. I've got my Wooloo with me, so, I'll, so I'm ready for battles against wild Pokemon, of course. But not you, Draven. So we'll steer clear of the tall grass as we go. Okay. All right. So we're steering clear. And, uh, yeah, look at that. There's a big old crowd. Now, before we do anything, let's see. Well, big old crowd. I think he's just, he's just waiting for us right here. Yeah, he's just waiting for us and all that stuff. So, anywho, guys, yes, we are playing Pokemon Sword. And, uh, well, this is part of the summer that we're going to be doing. I'm hoping of uh, hoping of uh, uploading a video every single day of Pokemon Sword, if that's possible. But, you know, we, we, we will see, guys. You guys will see a daily episode of this walkthrough as well. That way you guys can actually have something to entertain you guys. Now that we got a studio and all that crud. And, well, would you look at that. It's Lee and... There it is, the dragon pose. I'm sorry, the Charizard pose. Whatever. Okay. Look at that. He's feeling himself right now. And, uh, well, he's got a cape. So, obviously, he, he, he thinks he's got superpowers. Hello, hello, Witchers. Your champion, Leon, is back. I promise I'll be doing my best to deliver the greatest battles for you all to watch. It's our unbeatable champion. Leon, you and, the Charizard are, you and your Charizard are, great, are the greatest. Well, thank you for that. I hope you all carry on and uh, carry on training up your Pokemon and never shy away from battle. Then come challenge me for the champion title. We're on it. We've been uh, we've been working on our battle skills just like you've taught us, uh, Lee. Oh damn. Okay. But that Charizard of yours is too, is too strong for the likes of us to take on. Hmm. Too true that Charizard is blazingly strong, but other Pokemon can be strong as well. That's why I want to. I want the strongest of challengers to fill my ch gym challenge and come battle me. My wish that my my wish is for Galar trainers to work together to become the strongest in all the world. And of course, Charizard is agreeing. Look at that, Charizard. You you look better, or actually, you look bigger in your Pokemon card. And uh, well, look at this. This guy's right behind the big boy right here. Me. Hop. Unfortunately, they meet up, and he's like, "So, my number one fan in all the world has come out to uh, out this way to pick me up. Look at you, Hop. I reckon you've grown exactly an inch and a quarter since I last saw you. 
Bingo! That's the sort of sharp eye that uh, kept you undefeated so long, eh, Lee? And these bright eyes over here? I've got it. You must be Draven. Am I right? I've heard loads about you from my little brother. I'm the Gala region's greatest ever Pokemon champion and a massive Charizard fan, too. People call me the unbeatable Leon. Come on, Lee. You and Draven. Bet I can beat the both of you back uh, back home. Huh. That hop. Always wanted to be the best, isn't he? With a proper rival of his own, I bet he'd push himself to become something truly special. Well, everyone, I beat you for well today. Charizard foes included, but don't you fret. I'll always be around to make sure everyone is in, in, in Galar can have a champion time. Man, he really he's really rocking his cape right there. Kind of like Batman, and wow, just like Batman is flying around. I want a cape. I really do. I really want a cape. Okay, so... Here we are coming back to the house, and Hop and I are right here. And of course, Hop is being very impatient right here. He's like, come on, Lee, you promised us a present, so out with it. You brought Draven and me a Pokemon. You did, didn't you? I'm a, I, I, I know you must have. Right then, the greatest gift from the greatest champion. It's a showtime, everyone. And just like that, he is going to be coming out with, uh, well, let's see if we can get to that. Yes. He's going to be introducing us to the uh, the three starter Pokemon of this whole region. As you can see, bam, we got Grookey. Here we have a Score Bunny. And then we got Subble. Oh, look at these guys. Look at that. Oh, damn. Holy crud. Playful as always. Look at these guys. Oh, yeah. I want that. You know, I could do that in real life, you know, fire coming out of the, the ground when I'm running. Yeah, that's how fast I am. Not really, but you know what I mean. And, well, look at this. <laughs> Man, these guys are having a great old time right here. And, oh wow, a scary one, huh? Uh, I guess that's why they call this Pokemon Sobble. And look at that, they're all the best of friends. All right, line up everyone, and well, here we go, we got three starter Pokemon. Which one will you choose? And the face of... Yes, I'm finally feeling it. Yes, I'm going to choose my very first Pokemon right here. Well... <sighs> go on, you pick first. I already got my Wooloo, after all. Okay, so... As many of you guys already remember, when I first started Pokemon Sword back in 2000 yeah during the pandemic and all that stuff i went with grookey right here but then 10 episodes maybe five episodes five ten episodes afterwards i went in for pokemon shield and i got myself group or not grookey but sobble now i already had nicknames for the both of them optimus and deadshot i think yes deadshot yeah but there was one Pokemon I have yet to use and showcase throughout the walkthrough, and I'm gonna actually, sh I'm actually gonna pick this Pokemon right here. I know it's the most popular one right here in this uh, in this whole entire uh, game, and it might be an unpopular choice for me, for many of you guys. But I kind of want him. So here we go, guys. We're gonna choose this little bunny right here. Look at that. Score Bunny is a fire type. It's filled with too bursty, uh, or it's filled to bursting with fiery passion. You are set on the fire type Pokemon, Score Bunny? Yes, I am. Look at this Pokemon. Yes, and I've chosen Score Bunny. And just like that, we can actually give him a nickname. And, well, as many of you guys already remembered, yes, we are going to be naming him after a celebrity of some sort from England or Great Britain, whatever it is. Yes, say hello to good old Bex, named after David Beckham himself, or that's how he's referred to over in England, I think. Comment down below if you uh, if that's correct right there. So I'm gonna press that. Bex has been added, and well, fist bump right there. We are the best of friends now. Look at that. He's so happy. And of course, uh, so score money for you. Nice one. And well, this guy right here is gonna be going with Grookey, the Pokemon that is weakest to your Pokemon, which is kind of funny. So yes, you are mine. I'm aiming to be the next champion, so be ready. Uh, you and you and I'll be doing some serious training. And well, look at that, Grookey's all happy now. The Pokemon that has not been selected. Well, not to fear, it is uh, it is still going to be selected. This time, it's going to be going straight to the champion Leon. So I'll bet uh, I bet you will be Hop. 
That's why I brought along these Pokemon for you and Draven. So the two of you can battle and train and grow together to try and reach me. Sobble right here is wondering, okay, well, well, where the heck do I go? And well, here's your trainer. And you'll come with me. Charizard will show you the robes. He's strict, but a real strong and real kind too. And yes, look at that. A big brother. I think I think we all know who the winner of this whole, you know, Pokemon draft is. It's Lee. Right now. For right now. But we'll see what happens. You know, it's kind of like in the NFL draft. You draft a player. You don't know how he's going to do. But then eventually you get that hidden gem. I think we got the hidden gem. So here we are with our mamas. All right. Enough of all these trainer nonsense for, the, for one night. Dinner's ready, children. Bring along your Pokemon and let's all eat. Okay. Look at that. Turning Super Saiyan on the barbecue. And, well, let's see. Charizard's lit. <laughs> Charizard's being the Piccolo himself right there. Wow, are you serious? Wow. Holy crud. He is. Uh, he was hungry. Okay. Okay, so here we are, all healed up and ready to go. And uh, look at this. The next day... You spent a whole night with a new partner of yours, right, Hop? You two are, are you two getting all right? Understanding one another? Maybe even built up a, a bit of love. Of course I have, Lee. Draven's made uh, made fast friends with his score bunny, too. Listen up, new trainers. Believe in yourself and your Pokemon. If you trust one another and carry on battling side by side and long enough, then someday you might even become worthy to rivals for me. The, unstu the unbeatable champion. We, uh, what are you looking at him for, Lee? I'm the one who's got, who's coming to challenge you. If you think Draven might be able to challenge you, then I guess he's my first rival. But I'm not planning on lo to lose to him and miss out on my chance to beat the unbeatable champion. Just having a Pokemon with you doesn't make you a real champion, you know. Proper trainer raised their Pokemon up to be first rate in the battle, too. Oh, and you think that you're worthy of calling yourself such a proper trainer already, huh? Guess I'll be a judge of that. Let's see how you handle yourself in the battle against your friend, if he's up for it. What do you say? Willing and ready to take on Hop on his uh, first ever Pokemon battle of your life? Sure, let's go right ahead and embarrass this kid. Believe in your partner, or your Pokemon partner, and care for him too, with all your heart. Do those things, and I'm certain you'll learn, uh, you'll learn to choose moves that suit your Pokemon. And more importantly, to have a champion time battling with them. Okay, he likes to say champion time, and well, Leon's right here. He's like, looks like everyone's on board, Pokemon and trainers alike. Then let's do this. I've watched every match Lee's ever had. I've read every book and magazine he left behind at home, too. I know exactly what to do in order to win. Turn Super Saiyan, I think. So here it is, guys. Our very first battle against Hop. And we all know how much we hate Hop. Beat him a lot. We really do. So here he comes out with a woo. Believe it or not, guys, that starter Pokemon was not his actual first Pokemon. It's actually Wulu. And, well, let's go right ahead and take this guy on. As you can see, Bex only has Tackle Attack right now. And it's going to have, yeah, that's going to have some kind of a, you know, a, a good time against this, uh, this Wulu right here. Because, well, you know, it is fluffy and, you know, what fluff does. It actually, you know, it takes the brunt of the attack right here. But here comes another Tackle Attack right there. And that Bex Attack. Let's go. Tackle Attack. There we go. Wulu has been situated. Yeah, buddy. Okay, look at this. And we get to level 6 right here, which is great. And now we're finally learning Ember. So this is bad news for this guy. <laughs> it's not over yet. I've added another trusty ally to my team. Yeah, bad idea. Because uh, he's coming out with that Grookey right there. So let's go right ahead and go with the Ember attack for the win. Burn. Burn, baby, burn. And well, he's like, did you already know about uh, type advantages? Yes, I did. Actually, I've already known. Quite some time. And well, there we go with the scratch deck. So here we go again. An ember attack for the win. And just like that, Grookey has been defeated. <laughs> yes, we're making uh, we're making Hop regret everything right here. So there it is. Hop is, uh, yeah. You beat my two Pokemon with, with your one? You and the score bunny are too much. <laughs> yes, we are. Yes, we are indeed. Okay. Well, that was a shock. Guess I know why Lee th uh, thought that he would he should give you a Pokemon too. You and your Pokemon all fought hard. Made me almost want to let out Charizard and join in all the fun. 
Good answer out there, Score Bunny. Why don't I get you all sorted? And we're all healed up, you know, sorted, just like the British say. And Draven, you've got real promise. In fact, I've got a favor to ask of you. Be a real rival to Hop, would you? Push him and make both of you stronger. I've already wanted to get stronger and stronger. You seem to battle me, Leeds, or you see you see me battle me, and of course I'm getting a message right now. Okay, my bad. So you see me battle Lee. So come on, you've gotten to let me uh, take on a Pokemon gyms. You join the gym challenge? You think you're ready for a single greatest competition in Gala region? Not putting the cart before the Rapidash there, little brother. If that's really what you want to do, you have to, you two have a whole lot you need to learn about Pokemon. Especially your friend Draven. Before you think about getting gym badges, best to think about getting a Pokedex. A trainer's Pokedex helps them learn lots of things about all the Pokemon out there, including their strengths. But it's more than just a collection of data, you know. It's a record of Pokemon's love and passion for Pokemon training. Right, right, we get it. Pokedex is then. We're on it. Looks like it's off to the Pokemon Research Lab for you and me, Draven. That's the kind of enthusiasm a trainer needs. I'll let the professor know to expect you. I'm going to be the next champion, so... Completing a simple Pokédex will be nothing. Just another page in the tale of my legend. You'd probably better get uh, go tell your mom that we're uh, heading out there. Okay, okay, so, uh, huh. That was a pretty interesting first episode right there, guys. And, well, again, this is the makeup of uh, Pokémon Sword and Shield. In this one, we're only doing Pokémon Sword, and it's going to be for the summer, so just chill, have fun, enjoying all these episodes guys i'm gonna be enjoying editing them all, all them out and uh bringing the best quality episodes right here for you guys now that you know i've gotten a good reaction on my pokemon yellow walkthrough and <laughs> my pokemon white walkthrough or white 2 walkthrough so again thank you guys for watching um uh, yeah make sure to hit the notification button the subscribe button and if you guys want to make a small donation down below yeah the link's right there i will be back for another episode of our pokemon shield walkthrough see you guys